Hi, this is your Dr. Vitla Venu. Welcome to Avishkar. Uh, in this session, I will show you how to draw the projections of the square pyramid uh, and its apex placed on the horizontal, uh, horizontal plane. And this is the condition when the apex of the square pyramid lies on the horizontal plane. Then we have other conditions. Those conditions we will consider, those conditions are when the slant, one of the slant edge of the square pyramid is vertical to HP and the one face of the square pyramid is perpendicular to vertical plane. With these conditions, I will show you the projections of the square pyramid. Now, let me take an example with this condition. I read out the problem, a square pyramid, 30 mm base side, and 50 mm long axis is resting on its apex on HP. Its apex is lying on HP such that it is, it is its one slant edge is vertical and a triangular face through it is perpendicular to VP draw its projections. I read out the problem once again a square pyramid of side 30 mm base side 30 mm and 50 mm long axis, that means the height of the pyramid is 50 mm, is resting on apex, lies on HP. That means it is resting such way, in such a way that its apex is lying on horizontal plane. Also, one slant edge is vertical. One slant edge is vertical and the apex is lying on horizontal plane. This is the first condition. Then also, the one of the triangular face is perpendicular to the vertical plane. These are the conditions given in the problem. With these conditions, we have to draw the projections. I will tell you the conditions once again. One slant edge is vertical to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the horizontal plane. And one of the edge, one of the face, one of the face of the square pyramid is perpendicular to the vertical plane. These are the conditions in the given in the problem. Now, in the problem, it is clearly mentioned that the apex is lying on horizontal plane. So when when it is lying on the horizontal plane, when any of the object is lying on the horizontal plane, we have to draw the top view first because the top view will be the true shape. Then draw the true shape of the square pyramid of side 30 mm like this. Then name all those points like this. Name all those points like this A, B, C, D. Then these diagonals we cannot see from the top because the apex is lying on the horizontal plane. These uh, edges looks like a dotted line because the top view on the top view we can see only the base edges like this the side edges or the slant edges we cannot see those we have to indicate as a dotted line at the apex here now project all these points up and taking the height of the pyramid and construct the pyramid uh, such a way that the apex lies on horizontal plane like this then name all those points as A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. Apex, name apex as O dash like this. We are constructed the square pyramid in such a way that the apex is lying on horizontal plane. But now in the problem, but in the problem it is given that the one of the slant edge is vertical. That means it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. This is the first condition. So using this first condition, we have to construct the front view and top view. Later, we will construct the front view and top view of the square pyramid in such a way that the one of the face is perpendicular to vertical plane. Now consider the first case. The first case is one of the slant edges vertical to the horizontal plane are perpendicular to the horizontal plane like this. Now draw a vertical line, draw a 
the vertical line at a convenient point on the xy line name that point as o dash take a compass and o dash a dash as radius and transfer that height using the compass and name that point as a dash here on the construction line then take the compass and o dash c dash add radius and draw an arc here then take the compass a dash c dash as radius with a as center and intersect the previous arc to get the c dash point then join a dash c dash o dash to get a triangle in this case the square pyramid slant edge is vertical as you can observe in this figure now this will be the front view of the square pyramid one of the edge is vertical and as well as 90 degrees to the horizontal plane then draw a vertical line draw draw a line which is perpendicular to a dash c dash which must meet at o dash that will also become one edge of the square pyramid when one of the edge is perpendicular to the horizontal plane now this is the front view of the square pyramid when one of the edge is uh, perpendicular to the hp then we have to draw the top view at this condition now project all these points downwards namely from a dash b dash c dash to d dash like this then draw the horizontal lines from the top view of the square pyramid when exactly the apex lies on the horizontal plane before making this vertical before making one of the edge vertical to the horizontal plane then get all those points like this d and d dash we will get one point here a dash a we will get one more point here then c dash c we will get here then b b dash we will get down now a1 name all those points as then project o dash then O and O1, A1, we will get at the same location. Then B1, name all those points. C1, then name all those points like this to get the top view of the square pyramid when one of the edge is vertical to the horizontal plane or 90 degrees to the HP. Then we will get and we will get one dotted line here, A dash, C dash which we cannot see from the top now let us draw now let us consider one more let us consider one more condition given in the problem the other condition is when one of the face is perpendicular to the vertical plane this is the second condition specified in the problem but now this is vertical one of the slant edges is vertical to h now the second condition is one of the face of this square pyramid should be perpendicular to the vertical plane to draw that projection now just similar shape we will get similar shape we will get but it is its face must be perpendicular to the vertical this is what x y will be the perpendicular so that dry vertical line dry perpendicular line to x y line at a convenient distance from x y line then i am i'm taking this a1 d1 as a vertical line here take the compass try a construction line here from the x y line and on that construction line take the compass transfer a1 d1 distance on the construction line name that point as a1 d1 next take the compass then d1 c1 as radius with d1 as center Draw an arc here. Then similarly, A1, uh, B1 as radius. Then draw an arc here. So to get B1 point. Then take the diagonal. Take the diagonal. So A1, C1. Intersect C1. Uh, arc here. What uh, Intersect the previous arc that we don't get here. Intersect the previous arc that we have here to get C1 point. Now join all those points to get the top view of the square pyramid then one of the edge is perpendicular to the vertical plane 
Now, to get the front view, in the second case, project all those points upwards like this. Then draw the horizontal lines from the front view when one of the slant edge is vertical from the first case, then get all those points like this. A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, then D1 dash, then join all those points and also get the O1 dash by projecting here, then join all those points to get the front view of the square pyramid when one of the slant edges perpendicular to the horizontal plane and one of the face of the square pyramid is perpendicular to the vertical plane. Thank you. In the next video, I will show you one more example. Thank you.